This video has been brought to you by Mangotech, which has the coolest all-in-one accessory to charge all of your Apple devices. It's got a USB on the back, it's got an included Apple Watch charger, and an included lightning port, so you can literally charge all your devices all in one. If you love the Apple Watch, stay tuned because I'm sure you're really going to like this video. If you love Apple, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. What is going on guys? Apple World here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best and my favorite complications that you can install right now on your Apple Watch. Of course, I'm going to show you the actual complications, but I'm also going to show you the apps that these complications are actually coming from. Don't forget that in the description down below, you guys will find all of the apps of course, all of the complications that I will mention in this video. So without further ado, now for real, let's get started. And the first step that we have on the list is Cardiogram. As you guys know, the heart rate app on the Apple Watch from Apple is great. It works perfectly fine, but the complication in our Apple Watch, it's literally just a heart, and if we press, it brings us to the actual heart rate app, right? Well, Cardiogram actually lets us know what our heart rate actually is in that exact moment just by swiping up on our wrist. We just do like this and we will see the actual heart rate. On apples, you just see the heart. With this, you actually see your actual beats per minute. It's good stuff. The next step is speed and speed tells you your actual speed. Now, Nikki is, why the heck is this useful? Well, basically, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons that you can find it useful. The first thing that I can think of is when you're driving, you can simply check on your wrist and you will see the actual speed that you're actually on. Now I know when you're in the car, you can literally see the speed that you are in front of the car. So I guess a really good example would be on a bike ride. You will know the speed that you're actually going with your bike ride or I don't know if you're running. It's up to you on how you want to make this useful. All I know is that this is actually pretty cool. Next up is Things. Now Things is actually a pretty expensive app, but if you want to start getting organized with your life, if you're a busy person and you have so many things that you have to do, such as me, I have so many things that I have to do every single day. And Things, it's an app that I actually installed last month and I've been obsessed with it. Right now, by the way, hold on a second, by the way, hold on, because I know you guys will be like, wait a second, why are you talking about the Apple Watch? And wait, why are you wearing an Apple Watch if weren't you doing the Samsung Galaxy S10 challenge? Well, yes, I am. In fact, I still am using the Samsung Galaxy S10. I'm not using my iPhone and I've been not using my Apple Watch. As I said on my Samsung Galaxy S10 video, I will only be using my Apple Watch just when I have to make a video. So don't worry. And just in case, if you guys see, for example, um, um, I'm gonna show you a sleep tracking app. You will see that, you know, my sleep tracking is zero. I've been not wearing my Apple Watch. So if you guys see that, you know, a bunch of numbers are zero for some complication, that's why. It's because I haven't been wearing my Apple Watch. And for the haters out there, I am not using my Apple Watch. I miss it so much. And it's just for the purpose of this video. So anyways, let's talk about things because things, it's basically a task tracker. You can put the things that you want to do throughout the day. And then you simply put the tasks as completed. You can actually put reminders, you can put notes, and it's simply a great Apple Watch app. And the actual complication, there's actually a ring and it actually fills up the more um, things that you actually threw throughout the day. Totally recommend it. It's pretty expensive, but it's not overpriced. If you have a lot of things throughout the throughout your day, trust me, download it, you won't regret it. Focus is my next app. And if you're a person like me, as I said, then you have so many things that you have to do, but it's hard to focus. Well, focus actually lets you focus by setting timers and it actually gives you breaks. It's really cool. So when you're about to do, let's, for, let's say for example, I have to reply to a bunch of business emails today. It's simply, I'm gonna press start. And then let's say it, it actually gives you minutes so you can set it to 30 minutes, for example. So you're gonna do 30 minutes of email work. Once those 30 minutes are done, the, the app is gonna be like, your watch is gonna let you know, hey, maybe take a break. You should take a break five minutes and then come back. So then it's, it's simply gonna let you know how much you work, etc. Do you guys hear my dog? There's when my family comes. Ugh. The next complication that I wanted to show you today is called battery. And it basically lets you know how much battery you have on your iPhone just by swapping up on your wrist. It's really cool. Sometimes I just wanna know the battery on my phone. And previously, I actually showed you a battery app on your Apple Watch, but it didn't actually have a complication. So it's kind of annoying how, you know, you have to go inside of your Apple Watch and actually see what you're, you know, actually open an app. This Apple Watch app actually has a complication. So just by swiping up on your wrist, you will know what the battery is on your iPhone. It's good stuff as well. Now, I talked about Waterminder before in the channel. In fact, it's one of my favorite Apple Watch apps. It basically helps me drink more water. Now, Nikki, is that is so stupid. I can drink my water without my Apple Watch. Yes, I know, but Waterminder, it tells you, you probably drink this much water. 
water minder tells you, hey, well then you should drink this much more. And then until you reach that goal, it's gonna be like, okay, let's go further. Let's drink more and more and more. That's the difference between, yeah, sure, my Apple Watch can, I mean, why would my Apple Watch do that? But no, it actually helps you do the goal. So it's really cool. But I'm basically telling you guys this because the actual complication on the Apple Watch is so beautifully designed. It's an actual ring and the more you drink, the more it's gonna fill up. It's just a really beautiful complication. Okay, so there's two more apps that I wanna show you. So stick with me. First off, Shazam. Shazam, you probably know what Shazam is. It basically lets you know what song is playing on the radio um, in a music festival. If you wanna know what the song is, just open up your Apple Watch with the actual complication from Shazam. You tap and it will let you know what the song is. It's just convenient. Having a complication from Shazam on the Apple Watch is such a life saver. And the last Apple Watch app slash complication that I wanted to show you today is Pillow. Pillow basically helps you sleep track on your Apple Watch. We currently do not have a native sleep tracking Apple Watch app on the Apple Watch. Hopefully that will come in the near future with WatchOS 6 or WatchOS 7. But for now, we have to use whether Autosleep or Pillow. I find that those are my favorite ones. Pillow, I, sometimes I prefer Pillow and sometimes I prefer Autosleep. In this case, since we're talking about complications, I simply prefer the complications from Pillow. And that's what I basically wanted to show you. It's just simply a really beautiful and really useful complication as well. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for my favorite complications on the Apple Watch. If you guys want a part 2 of this video, once this video actually reaches 10,000 likes, I will make part 2. So you guys better, you know, give it a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this new video and my new setup slash video filming area. I think it's pretty cool. It turned out really cool. So yeah, do all that stuff. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video surrounding the Apple world. Now, it's time to... Sally, get my Apple Watch. I miss my Apple Watch.